Hey there guys and welcome to a brand new video. I want to show you guys how you can set up a bank alt. You might be asking yourself why do you need a bank alt. Now they're quite handy, helps you have the bags empty on your main all the time, saves you so much space and it's so much easy to post stuff on the auction house. You don't have to go with your main on the auction house, you just go to the closest uh, mailbox, you send everything to your bank alt and then you can just, you can just sort it later. Now, this is my bank alt, he's a level 90 mage. The fact that he's the mage doesn't really help that much, but the fact that he's 90 helps quite a lot. You can also use a level 1, uh, but the higher your bank character is, the better since you can have professionals on it. And not only you can keep everything tidy and sorted, you can also process some of the materials that you're sending on him. Now, this is how you set up a bank alt. You can either make a level 1 or use one of the characters that you haven't played in a, in a while, like I've done right now. You can also use DKs or Demon Hunters, but keep in mind that you can have only one per realm, so if you're planning to play a Demon Hunter or DK later, you're not gonna be able. Now, let's say you make a level 1. For the Alliance, the Human is the best race to have, since you can get really fast to Stormwind. And for the Alliance, Stormwind is one of the best places to have your bank alt since the bank is really close to the auction house and it's quite easy for the people to get to Stormwind in case, you, in case you're selling something on the trade chat. And for Horde, Ogrimmar is a really good place, but personally I prefer Thunder Bluff. Now, let's say you've got your level 1 character, you took it to the capital city, what's next? Now, you're gonna need some gold, as with everything in this game, you're gonna need some gold. Uh, the first thing is to go and buy yourself some bags. Now, if you have gold, just go and buy yourself the biggest av available bags. Now, on my bank one, I have Hexwave bags, which are 30 slot bags. As you can see, it gives me quite a lot of space. Now, the second thing I suggest you do, you go to your bank and you buy all the available slots so up here you can see you have all those slots buy all of them and just add bags in every single slot uh, myself I don't really use the bank that much I just keep BOE stuff that would take space on different characters I just send it here all stuff that I just need to store for a long time that's bind on, a, on account or stuff like that but if you cannot afford big bags like I have you can just buy one of those uh, Netherwave bags, they, they're quite cheap, I think they're under 20 gold each. Now, to start with, if you have those four bags, let's say you have Netherwave bags on those ones, and also if you can fill the entire bank with Netherwave bags, then you have plenty of space to store stuff. But what I personally would do, I would go a step further and I would create myself a, a bank. Because if you have a bank, you can buy uh, those tabs. You can have up to six tabs, and I think every single tab has 98 slots, so you can store stuff. And as you can see, you can customize them. You can put everything in order. Maybe you don't need to sell everything on the spot. Maybe you need to keep them for you know, for the end of the expansion, or for maybe for even for a different expansion. So having a bank, it's always useful, and it's quite easy to set up a bank. You just need five people. Now, you can either ask your friends to sign into your bank or just pay some random people in the game. But just don't forget, as soon as you have your guild, make sure you kick them out because you don't want anyone to steal stuff from your guild bank. Now, as I showed you early, this is how my guild bank looks. Now, on the, in the first tab, I have my tailoring stuff which is basically full of cloth or you know other items related to tailoring on the second one i have gems and minerals also some you know like motor fire those are quite expensive right now uh, enchanting materials i'm not planning to sell everything uh, as soon as i get them so i like to stack them and maybe sell them on friday when the prices are a bit more expensive because you know it's closer to the weekend i have BOEs. I farmed those uh, a long time ago and I'm just selling them slowly slowly. I, I like to collect those uh, lock boxes, you know, just fill the entire tab and then just unlock them and open them all at once. And 
in this tab I have those pets. Now those pets were uh, obtainable only during the Legion invasions and I managed to stack a few of them and I'm just gonna hold them to them and sell them when they're gonna go up in price. And the reason why it's good to have your guild bank all organized is because your bags are always gonna be a mess because you're gonna always post stuff on your auction house, you're gonna receive stuff from your main characters and also you have stuff that expires that they're just gonna go in your bags and maybe you know you don't have time to sort it out so the best place to organize stuff is in a guild bank. Uh, on the side, I also like to create a chat window that shows me only whispers and system messages because every time you sell something on the auction house, it's going to show up as a system message. So I really like to have everything on one window. I don't like all this spam and everything that's on the trade chat. Now, I hope this video was useful. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Uh, like what add-ons I use, this one that makes the bags look like this, it's called Bagnon. This is uh, zippers and those bars, it's a uh, bartender. Now, as I said, I hope this video was useful. I'm gonna show you in the next video how I make my gold and maybe give you a few gold tips. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!